she squeezed the hand sanitizer, then lit it on fire. Now, at first, the flame was almost invisible. Alcohol flames can indeed appear nearly invisible, just like many other gases a well-known risk in emergency medicine. But the alcohol in the gel burned fast, and the vapor around it caught fire too. Correct. Ethanol vapors ignite easily and can spread heat far quicker than expected. This shouldn't be done on skin, even in controlled settings. Ooh, causing the flames to heat up the skin faster than the teacher expected. Once proteins start to denature, around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius, tissue injury happens instantly. It normally takes just one second of direct flame to begin causing a superficial burn and only a few more seconds to reach partial thickness, second-degree injury. You see, she had done the same experiment with classes earlier that day, and the fire went out before it heated the student's skin. And that's the problem. Flame behavior changes. But this time, the fire kept burning, blistering his hands before he finally put it out. Blisters mean a second-degree burn. He had to be treated for the severe burns, and the teacher resigned after the incident.